The 7 7 Important Messages for Whoever Needs Guidance to the True Religion with Evidences from Quran and Bible Part 3. Message number 4. Belief in all the messengers of Allah. You should know that all the messengers of Allah, peace be upon them, are servants of Allah. They worship Allah alone and preach worshipping Him alone without associating partner to Him. Allah holds neither a son nor a partner among messengers. Allah the Almighty says in the following Quranic verse, The one who did not give birth to anyone, nor did anyone give birth to him. So he has no offspring, may he be glorified, nor any parent. He neither begets nor is born. Nor does he have any equal from his creation. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran, Eklos, 112-3-4. More so, Allah the Almighty holds no wife and has no partner in his dominion. He forgives not the sin of joining other gods with him unless you repent and accept the truth, Islamic monotheism. Therefore, you must believe in all the messengers, peace be upon them, from the first to the last prophet and messenger of Allah Muhammad Shailallahu Alaihi wa sallam. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. Verily I sent my messengers with clear evidence and manifest proof, and sent down books with them and the balance, so that people would uphold justice. Surat al-Hadid colon 25. Those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers, and who want to make a distinction between Allah and his messengers by believing in Allah yet rejecting his messengers by saying. We accept some messengers and reject others, and they want to take a path between disbelief and belief, thinking that this will save them. Those who follow such a stance as regards their faith are in fact disbelievers, for disbelieving in some of the messengers is similar to disbelief in Allah and all his messengers. Allah has prepared a humiliating punishment for all disbelievers on the day of rising as a just recompense for their deliberate refusal to follow the faith as required of them. Those who believe in Allah, declare his oneness, do not associate any partner with him, accept all of his messengers and do not make a distinction between any of them as the disbelievers do. Allah will give such people a great reward for their faith and good actions. Allah is forgiving and merciful towards the servant who repents to him. Surat an Nisa apostrophe colon 150-152. O believers, be firm in your faith in Allah, his messenger, the Quran which he revealed to his messenger and the books he revealed to the messengers before him. Anyone who disbelieves in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers and the day of judgment has strayed far from the straight path. Surat an Nisa apostrophe colon 136. O people, hasten towards good deeds i.e. repentance and other actions, through which you will achieve forgiveness for your sins. You will also acquire through them a paradise the width of which is the width of the heavens and the earth, Allah has prepared this paradise for those who bring faith in him and his messengers. That reward is a favor of Allah that he grants whichever of his servants he wishes, he, may he be glorified, is the bestower of great favors to his believing servants. Surah al-Hadid colon 21. Bible says, Listen to me, Judah and Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God and you will be upheld, have faith in his prophets and you will be successful. 2 Chronicles 2020. You should know that disbelieving one of them is the same as not believing in all of them. This is a great sin before Allah. If you die without believing the messengers, you will abide in hellfire forever in the hereafter. Whoever falsified the messengers of Allah, peace be upon them, the intercession of any intercessors will be of no use to him her. Message number 5. Quranic evidence is against those who relate son or daughter to Allah. It does not befit Allah to have a son, exalted and free he is from this. When he intends something, it is enough for him to say regarding this thing, be, and it most definitely becomes. So he who is like this is free from having a son. mankind over the ability of Allah. 
He created Adam, peace be upon him, the father of all mankind without a father or a mother and then created Eve from the part of Adam without a mother. All these prove that Allah has power over all things. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verse as follows. With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? Surat Ali Imran colon 59. I sir, Jesus, peace be upon him worships none but Allah and calls his people to such worship. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verse as follows. The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Surat al maida colon 72. Allah the Almighty reported Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, Mary, to have said as translation of what Allah says in the Noble Quran reveals. And Allah, may he be glorified, is both my Lord and your Lord, so make worship sincere for him alone. This which I have mentioned to you is the straight path that leads to the pleasure of Allah. Surat Maryam colon 36. Christ Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, Mary, peace be upon him, never asked anyone to worship him or his mother Maryam, Mary, because he is a man and servant of Allah. Allah the Almighty supported Christ, Isa, with various signs, miracles, such as, bringing back to life the dead by Allah's will and many more, so as to justify that he was a messenger of Allah. As he straightened other messengers before him, peace be upon them, with different signs to justify that they were messengers from Allah. In addition, Allah revealed to Prophet Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary and Mary, peace be upon him, the book of Angeals, Gospel Bible, to guide only the children of Israel. That he was sent only to children of Israel, not to the whole world. The Noble Quran confirms in the following verses. Allah will make him a messenger to the Israelites, instructing him to say to them, I am Allah's messenger to you. I have brought to you a sign indicating my prophethood, I will make the shape of a bird using clay, then I will breathe into it and it will become a living bird by Allah's permission. I will cure the one who was born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness, and I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. I will tell you about what you consume and what you hide in your homes. In all of these extraordinary things that I mentioned to you, which human beings cannot do, is a clear sign that I am Allah's messenger to you, if you wish to have faith and to accept the proof. Surat Ali Imran colon 49 Remember, O messenger, when Jesus son of Mary, peace be upon him, said, O Israelites, I am Allah's messenger. He has sent me to you to confirm the Torah that was revealed before me. I am nothing new among the messengers. I have come to give the good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad. When Jesus brought the evidence indicating his truthfulness to them, they said, This is clear magic, and we will never follow you. Surat as Saf colon 6. However, the Bible reveals similar to what the above Quranic verses clarified as follows. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Matthew 10 5-6.C also Acts 11, 19. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel, Matthew 15 24. But Prophet Muhammad was sent to the whole world as clarified by the Noble Quran and Bible. Allah the Almighty says, And I did not send you, O Messenger, except for the sake of all of mankind, to give good news to the pious that for them is paradise, and to warn the disbelievers and transgressors of the fire. But most people do not know that. Had they known, they would not have denied you. Surat Saba colon 28. Allah tells the Prophet, peace be upon him, to inform people that he is the messenger of Allah to them all, both Arabs and non-Arabs. Allah alone controls the heavens and the earth. There is nothing worthy of worship other than him, glory be to him. He brings the dead to life, and causes what is alive to die.
people should have faith in Allah and in Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Prophet, his messenger, who cannot read or write, and who came only with what his Lord revealed to him. In order to guide them to what is good for them in this world and in the afterlife. Surat al apostrophe ref colon 158. Bible says, Then I saw another angel flying in mid-air, and had the eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth to every nation, tribe, language and people. Revelation 14 6. The angel in the above verse was angel Jibril who uses to come to prophet Muhammad. He protected Isa, Jesus, against the enemies who intended to kill him. Allah the Almighty clarified in the Noble Quran that Isa, Jesus, was not killed nor crucified. But Allah raised him up unto himself. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claimed to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding their matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. Surah Anisa apostrophe colon 157 to 158. Allah clarified in the Noble Quran that he does not admit Christ, Isa, the son of Mary and Mary as his son nor partner in his dominion and his mother Maryam, Mary, as his wife. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. Say, O Messenger, to the Christians who received the Gospel, do not overstep the limits in your religion and do not say anything but the truth about Allah in relation to Jesus. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is only Allah's Messenger sent with the truth. He created him by his word which he sent with Gabriel to Mary, which was the word be, and he became. It was a breath from Allah which Gabriel blew with Allah's instruction. So have faith in Allah and all his messengers without making a distinction between them. Do not say, the gods are three. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The dominion of the heavens, the earth and whatever is in between the two is his. He is sufficient as a guardian to carry out the affairs of his creation. Jesus, son of Mary, will never be proud and reject being a servant of Allah. The close angels who do not go against Allah's instruction and who do as they are instructed will also never disregard being Allah's servants. How, then, do you take Jesus as a God? How do the idolaters take angels as gods? If anyone rejects worshipping Allah and turns away from it, that he will gather all of them before him on the day of rising and will recompense each one with what they deserve. Surat Anis apostrophe colon 171 to 172. Had Allah the Almighty willed to destroy the Messiah, Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, Mary, his mother and all that is on the earth, no one has a least power against that. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. Those Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief. Say to them, O Messenger, who is able to prevent Allah from destroying the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, as well as his mother and all of those on earth if he wishes to do so. If no one is able to stop Allah from this, it is a clear indication that there is no God but Allah and that all of those people, Jesus, son of Mary, his mother and all of creation are all Allah's creation. The dominion of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, is Allah's. He creates whatever he wishes and one such creation of his was Jesus, peace be upon him, who was his servant and messenger. Allah is able to do all things. Nothing is outside his ability. He created Adam without a father or mother. He created Eve without a mother and he created Jesus without a father. Surat al maida colon 17. Therefore, the Almighty for his mercy upon his servants called those who relate son and wife to him, to withdraw the claim, repent and seek Allah's forgiveness before they suffer a great punishment. Allah the Almighty says in the Quranic verses as follows. The Christians who say that Allah is part of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but he is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. 
Will these people not retract this statement, repent to Allah and ask his forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger like other messengers. Just as death occurs to other messengers, it will occur to him as well. His mother, Mary, was a truthful and sincere woman. Both of them were in need of and used to consume food. How can they be gods when they were in need of food? Look, O messenger, and think about how I make clear to them the signs proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. indicating my oneness and the falsehood of their extremism in attributing lordship to others besides me. Despite this, they do not recognize these signs. Then look and think about how they are misled from the truth, despite these clear signs indicating my oneness. Almeida colon 73-75. You must believe that Prophet Isa, Jesus, the son of Mariam, Mary peace be upon him, is a servant and a messenger of Allah and his word which he bestowed on Mariam, Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. For more details about Prophet Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him, in the Noble Quran, read the following verses, Quran 333-64, 5-110-119, The Noble Quran is available in these websites. Noble Quran or Bible says, By myself I can do nothing, I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself but him who sent me. John 5, 30. He, Isa Jesus, was neither a Santo Alan nor his partner. Isa, Jesus rejected what was related to him and his mother of false and lie that they are partners to Allah. Bible says, the most important one, answered Jesus, is this, here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Mark 12 colon 29. Bible says, Indeed Herod and Pontius Pilate met together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel in this city to conspire against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Acts 4:27. Allah clarified in the glorious noble Quran below. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. If you punish them, O Lord, they are your servants and you can do with them as you wish. If you graciously forgive those of them who had faith, nothing can stop you from doing so because you are the mighty, who cannot be overpowered, and the wise in your handling of matters. Allah will say to Jesus, peace be with him, that the day of rising is a day on which the truthfulness of those who were true in their intentions, statements and actions will be of benefit to them. They will receive gardens with palaces and trees overlooking flowing streams, in which they will live eternally, with death never coming to them. Allah will be pleased with them and will never become angry with them. They will be pleased with Allah because of the everlasting delight they have received. Such reward and pleasure is the supreme success, which cannot be equaled by any other. Allah alone controls the heavens and the earth, and everything within them. He is their creator and the one who handles their affairs. He has power over everything and nothing can overpower him. Al Mu'ayda 5 to 116 to 120. This is what Allah the Almighty said with regard to Isa, Jesus, the son of Mariam, Mary. Thus, whoever disbelieves the verses above indeed disbelieves the words of Allah, which is a great sin before Allah. And if you die without believing the above verses, you will abide in hellfire forever in the hereafter. Whoever disbelieves the words of Allah, the intercession of intercessors will not be of any use to him her. 2. Allah the Almighty never took any son from among his creations. Criticizing the Jews who called Duzer as son of Allah and Christians who called Christ, Jesus, as son of Allah as well as disbelievers among Arabs who called angels as daughters of Allah. 
The Almighty Allah clarified in the glorious Quran that he begets no son in all his creations particularly angels, mankind or jinn. Some verses clarified in the glorious noble Quran below. The Jews, the Christians and the idolaters, who worship others alongside Allah, said that Allah had taken a son. He is far above and beyond such a thing, because he has no need of his creation, and no one has a son unless he is needy, and to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. All created beings are his servants, in submission to him, glory be to him. They are his servants and he deals with them as he wills. al Baqarah colon 116. Yet the idolaters made the jinn partners with Allah in worship believing that the jinn can independently bring benefit and cause harm, whilst Allah alone had created them. So he is most worthy of being worshipped. And out of their ignorance they attributed sons to Allah, as the Jews did with respect to Uzzah, and the Christians with respect to Jesus, and also daughters. Allah is free and above what the people of falsehood claim about him. He, may he be glorified, is the creator of the heavens and the earth without any precedent. How can he have a child when he has no wife? He created everything and knows everything. Nothing is hidden from. Alan apostrophe am colon 100 to 101. Say, O Messenger, all praise is for Allah who deserves all types of praise and who is exalted from having a child or a partner, thus he has no partner in his kingdom. And he is not afflicted by disgrace or weakness, hence he has no need for anyone to help and support him. So exalt him abundantly, and do not attribute any child or partner to him nor any helper or supporter. Al Isra apostrophe colon 111. Allah has not taken a child as the disbelievers claim, nor is there any true deity alongside him. If there were to be any true deity alongside him, every deity would take his share of the creation he made and they would dominate one another, causing the order of the universe to become corrupt. The reality is that none of this has occurred, proving that the true deity is Allah alone. He is pure and holy of what the idolaters describe him with, namely partners and children which are unbefitting for him. Al Mu apostrophe mine and colon 91. And the idolaters made blood ties between Allah and the angels when they claimed the angels are Allah's daughters and their mothers are the elite jinns. But the jinns already know Allah will bring them to be reckoned, so if there was lineage between him and them he would not bring them for that. Pure is Allah and exalted from what the idolaters describe him with of that which does not befit him, such as children, partners. As Sophot colon 158 to 159. O Messenger! Say to those who attribute daughters to Allah, who is exalted greatly from their statement, if, hypothetically, Allah had a child, then I would be the first to worship that child. The Lord of the heavens, the earth and the throne is pure of the statements of attributing partners, wives and children of these idolaters. So O Messenger! Leave them to continue in whatever falsehood they are engrossed in, and let them enjoy until they meet the day which they have been promised. They will soon know the outcome of their actions and regret it. As Zukruf colon 81 to 83. We have believed that he, exalted be the grandeur and majesty of our Lord, has not taken any wife nor child as the idolaters say. al -Jin colon 3. Some of the idolaters said, Allah has taken the angels as daughters. Allah is free of their statement. He, may he be glorified, is self-sufficient and is not in need of any of his creation. The control of whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. You, O oh idolaters, do not have any proof for this statement of yours. Are you saying such a serious statement about Allah, by attributing a child to him even though you do not know the reality of this and you have no proof? Yunus colon 68. The Jews, the Christians and some of the idolaters said, The merciful has taken a son. You, who say this, have indeed brought something monstrous. The heavens almost rupture because of this detested statement, the earth almost splits, and the mountains almost fall in ruins. All of this because they have attributed a son to the merciful. Allah is high above that by far. It is not befitting of the merciful to take a son as he is pure of that. There is no angel, human being or jinn in the heavens and earth but that he will come in submission to his Lord on the day of judgment. He has full knowledge of them and has numbered them exactly. Nothing of theirs is hidden from him. Each one of them will come to him on the day of judgment alone, without any helper or any wealth. Miriam colon 88 to 95. It does not befit Allah to have a son, exalted and free he is from this. When he intends something, it is enough for him to say regarding this thing, be, and it most definitely becomes. 
so he who is like this is free from having a son. Surat Maryam colon 35. If Allah wanted to take a son, as the idolaters claim, and Allah is far above from what they say, he would have chosen whom he wants from his creation and taken him as a child. Pure and exalted is he from what these idolaters say. He is one in his essence, attributes and actions, having no partner in them, subduer of all his creation. As Zuma colon 4. And it frightens the Jews, Christians and some of the idolaters who said, Allah has taken a son. These fabricators have no knowledge of their claim that Allah has a son and nor did their fathers whom they followed in this regard have any knowledge. This statement which has escaped their mouths without any understanding is heinous. They only speak a lie which has no basis or support. Surat al kuf colon 4-5. Therefore, associating a son to Allah the Almighty is false and a great sin according to Allah. If you die without sincere repentance and seeking Allah's forgiveness, you will abide in hell fire forever in the hereafter and the intercession of intercessors will not be of any use to him you.